Good morning class. How are you all keeping at home? Must be safe. Come on, let's start with the maths class. We have already started lesson 2 that is numbers up to 1000. Children, this is our maths textbook. I hope everybody must have got your maths textbook and the notebook that is checks book. Good. I hope you all must be knowing how to write in the notebook. We all have done in form 1. But again, I'll teach you in form 2 also with a quick revision. Today's agenda is how to write in the maths notebook. That is checks notebook. It is also known as square line book children. So quickly get with your maths notebook and a sharpen pencil and an eraser. Here you are. Look, it is seen like this. Children, even I am ready with my notebook. See how I have written my name, class and subject in my notebook. I hope you all must have written your name, class subject in your notebook as well. Now, everybody open the first page of your notebook. First page. Here also children, you will write your name, class and subject once again in a very good handwriting. Let me tell you children, in your notebooks, you have to write in the very good handwriting because it scores marks. Yes, in exam, you will get marks for the cleanliness. So, you have to maintain your notebook as well. Look, it is visible in my screen. See how I have written? You also have to write this way. Now, our today's topic is how to write in the notebook and I will write first with the number names which we all have done in form 1. So, I will teach you number names in the notebook 1 to 20 on the first page we will write. For, okay. Now, see children, your red color margin is given to you which means here you have to First, write the date on the very top, very top corner at the right, left hand side, you have to write down the date. I have written 18.6.20. I wish you all write along with me as I dictate to you. And see children. The date should not cross the red line. Yes. Now, outside the margin, put a dot. That means you have to leave one box. Then write the heading. For heading, write N capital. N U M B E R. Number. Little space you have to leave, then write N A M E S names. Put two dots that is called colon. Children, let me make you here cl clear that while writing in the checks notebook, you don't have to write one one letter in one one box. You have to assume that it is a plain book and all the words should, all the letters should be together written. As I have written, can you see? Okay, please take care while writing. Next line, put a dot outside the margin. That means you have to leave one box. Then in one box, write one. Another box put dash. 
Then write the word O N E 1. That is number name of number 1. I hope you all must have written that. Okay. Come to the next number. You have to leave a line children. Then come to the third line. As you can see on the screen. Again you have to put a dot. That means you have to leave one box. Write two. Then put dash. And write this spelling. T W O. Two. Let me remind you all once again that we will not write the letters in one one box. We have to write together as I have written in my notebook. Next line. Again leave one line. Then again come to the next line. Put a dot. Write number three in one box. Put dash and write T-H-R-E-E, -E, three. Written everyone? Better. Now, come to the next line. Leave that line. Next line, put a dot. Write four. Put dash and write down the spelling yourself. Same way. Next line leave, put a dot, write 5, put dash, leave next line, put a dot, write 6, put dash. Children, you can just now copy down the questions. Afterwards, you can write down. Okay, so look at the screen and copy same as I have done for you all. Write 8. 9 and stop children here. When you write number 10, one box, one number. Means you will not write 10 in one box. See how I have written? 1 in one box and 0 in another box. Here you will not put dot children anywhere. And put dash. Then you have to write the spelling T E N 10. Come to the top once again where I have written 1. Leave 3 boxes. That means after the word 1, you have to put 3, bo three dots. That means you have to leave 3 boxes 1, 2, and 3. And then you have to write 11. That is also 1 in one box and another 1 in another box. You can see on the screen children. Then put the dash. And then you will write down the spelling. That you will write afterwards. Copy down the question first children. 12. Put dash. 1, 3, 13. Put dash. 1, 4, 14. Put dash. 1, 5, 15. Put dash. 1, 6, 16. Dash. 17. Dash. 18 dash 19 dash 2020. Very good. Now see how I am writing. I have written the date first. 18.6.20. Then leave one box after the margin. Write the heading. <coughs> Number, names, put two dots, children, N will be capital, the next line, put a dot, then one, dash, and the spelling of one, then next line, leave one line, next line again, put dot, two, T, W, O, two, see I am writing together, again I remind you, we will not write one letter in one one box. This way you have to write first in your notebook. Then afterwards you can do your work. And children no need to submit the 
notebook work okay in the google classroom you just have to finish by yourself i have given everything in the in the in the video you can just see and make out how to write see one 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 eleven one in one box and another one in another box with a very good handwriting you have to complete your work children don't make make mess over here it contains marks so this way we will finish number name still 20 okay this is done now i'll start with another page here i have written for you if you have some doubt in the spelling i have given to you on the screen now you have to write number names from 20 to 100 same way your children one thing i have to make you point out here that on the very top i have left one box that means you have to put a dot on the top there i have not done because it was not able to finish on on one page here this is the way how you write put a dot on top now date on the next line can you see on the picture yes again write down the date today's date 18.6.20 it should not come out of the red line now put a dot outside the margin again in the same line you have to write the heading n capital n u m b e r number n a m e s names number names put two dot that is called colon yes now next line you have to leave a line see i have left the line then again come to the next line put a dot outside the margin write 2020 2 in one box 0 in one box put dash and then write down the spelling of 20 t w e n t y 20 then next line leave a line next line put a dot outside the margin and write 3030 then 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 here also you have to pay attention children how i have written 100 i have not put dot after the margin there you have to write one okay no dot will be there one zero zero hundred let's see how i have written in my notebook see i have put a dot on top first then on the next line i am writing the date then you have to put a dot outside the margin then you will start with the heading number names same way as we have written in that that page and here you will leave one line then put next line put a dot write 2020 and its spelling that is called number names then 30 then 40 50 60 70, 80, 90 and see children I am not putting any dot 1, 0, 0, 100. This is the way you write in your notebook. Okay. I have again written answer for you all. No need to submit the book. See. Here I have the answers written for you. Let me stress out children over here. 30, 40. Children, I always tell 
that spelling of 40 is F-O-R-T-Y. 40. If you write F-O-U-R-T-Y, it will be wrong. How I am saying, you see, I am saying 40. I am not saying 40. Okay, always, always keep in your mind that it is 40. Say aloud, 40. Very good. And it is not 5T. It is 50. See, F-I-F-T-Y. 50. Not 5T. So, these things you have to keep in your mind, children. Now, let's begin with our three-digit numbers. As we are in Form 2, we have to write in three-digit number names. So, this is the way how I write. Again, same way. You have to put a dot on top. Next line, you will write down the date. 18.6.20. It should not come out of the red line. Then put a dot outside the margin. Heading, same way. Next line, children. Again, put a dot outside the margin. And here you have to write H-T-O. In my last videos, I have already explained that H stands for hundreds, T stands for tens and O stands for ones. So, this way you have to write. Here are a few questions given to you children and I have written the answers also for you. Just you will copy down how to write. Now you have understood. So, these are the answers. I know it will not fit in that space. So, you can always come down to the next line and can write. But please don't make mess in your notebook. It should be very, very neat and clean and it should be visible. Very good children. I hope you will write it down. Something very important to note children. This is what I, I always feel that children you all make mistake. See spelling of 14. It is not 14. It is 14. 14. 14. As I told last in the last slide that 40 is wrong. For, when you write the spelling of 40, you write 40 which is wrong. You should write 40. Okay, there are difference between 14 and 40. And again once I repeat that number name, see what I have written. First one is wrong. N-U-M-B-E-R in 1-1 one, one box I have written which is wrong. You should write. Write together. Okay. So, these points you have to keep in your mind while you, are, while you are writing in the checks notebook. Okay. I hope you all have understood my video. Thank you and have a nice day.